morning, treasurers. This is your host, Parthish Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is what you need to know before going into trade for 29th July 2021 in the international market. The much-awaited FOMC meeting was over, and here is the highlights. The U.S. Central Bank or Federal Reserve decided not to raise interest rates from near zero and not to adjust the pace at which it buys government bonds each month. The outcome is as expected. The committee said that the economy has made progress towards its goal of full employment and inflation averaging 2% over longer run, but not the substantial further progress that it is looking for before it begins to reduce the purchases of long-term assets. Knight Research Team believes that with this statement, Fed has started the tapering clock, which will tick in the next few quarters before they start tapering. US 10 year closed at 126 and 30 year at 190 on Wednesday. In the crude oil market, crude is trading at 74.84. Short term range for crude is 73 to 77. In the currency market, dollar index or DXY is at 92.23. Dollar index range for today seems to be 92 to 92.65. USD CNY or Chinese Yuan is at 6.49. USD INR with a low of 74.31 closed at 74.38. Support at 74.30 and resistance at 74.75. Please note that USD INR did try to break 74.30 intraday but could not. Trading idea for USD INR. Yesterday's rupee purchase was mainly because of Adani Port's foreign borrowing inflow coming to India. Again, an attempt would be made to break below 74.30 for USD INR today. Watch out for a close below 74.30, which will open a lot of weaknesses given DXY is also falling off the cliff. In the domestic market, as expected by Knight Research Team, FOMC meeting turned out to be a non event. 563 2026 closed at 570 versus 569 the previous trading day. 664 2035 closed at 680 versus 679 the previous trading day. Trading strategy for 610 2031 is trading at 620. Now we expect the traders who were cautious because of the FOMC and were not buying the benchmark paper would make an entry and step up their purchases. Rational for the trade, waiting for an OMO announcement for 610 2031 taking it back to 615 levels. Trading range for 610 2031 seems to be 615 to 620. That's it for today. You were listening to Night Snippets with Pathish Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech. See you tomorrow with the new episode of Night Snippets.